Hello everyone, this is Ron from My Tech Legion and this is an unusual unboxing we have here since this is an engineering sample from AMD. If you heard by now, they are releasing their latest AMD FX second generation processors. This is the AMD FX 8350 and it actually has a surprisingly low retail price of 195 US dollars which makes it a very competitive uh, in a very competitive pricing segment compared to the previous generation FX 8150 um, of course this one has been updated it actually ha uh, comes out of the box uh, 4 gigahertz which is surprisingly high it has a turbo core option uh, up to 4.2 gigahertz it also has the same number of pins as the previous FX switch processor it, it fits AM3 plus compatible motherboard such as this uh, Gigabyte GA990FX-AUD7 and uh, AMD's FX series now uh, features the PAL driver core which features about uh, AMD approximates about a 10% IPC or instruction per clock improvement over the previous generation bulldozer cores also this one comes with uh, the, uh, the this run right or the FX 8350 comes with eight cores as a previous generation FX 8150. This one also has eight megabytes of L2 cache and eight megabytes of L3 cache. So that's uh, quite substantial and uh, it supports max DR of 1866 megahertz. Of course, you can push it a lot more depending on your motherboard type and it has a 125 watt TDP of course it is also expected to overclock a lot better uh, perhaps pushing beyond 5 gigahertz on air compared to the 8150 which uh, some users couldn't get theirs to reach 5 gigahertz uh, without running it uh, with, with running it in higher temperatures and managing it with water cooled systems uh, just to handle it. So those also consume a lot more power than this one so, it pretty much uh, covers this quick overview. We'll put it now, well, since I have it now in my system. Run our benchmarks, you can see the results of this benchmark and the rest of my review at uh, hightechlegion.com. You can just click down below the more info for want to read the rest of the benchmarks and the rest of the review, what I think of the new FX8350 processor. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.